Anything, I guess, that you would need to a microscope to see. And I guess it could be prokaryotic or eukaryotic, right? So ASM is, is here because we're trying to promote microorganisms and uh, their benefits to society. Microbiology is a fundamental, foundational science. Uh, microbes are really responsible for all the processes that are happening around the world, and so we want to, uh, to get the word out to, to people that uh, microbes are, are good. Some look like lines, yeah, they're like what we call rods, okay, or bacillus. They also come in round circles like cocci, and some of them come in chains like that, or some of them are clusters. Uh, public outreach is everything. This is, this is if, if scientists don't communicate with the, with the world at large, with the community, um, then we're, we're not doing our job. And so we need to reach out, let people know what we're doing, how it benefits society, uh, get children excited about science. Which I enjoy talking to the kids, they're sweet, and they're actually really interested once you get talking to them. And the exhibits that are really accessible and immediate, but also teach them something, are fun to go through with them. So these are the different kinds of things you can see under there, different, you know, who are lucky, depends on what kind of sample you get. Microbiology is interesting for me because when you get because when you get to a very isolated area, life begins to take to become very selective in what niche in the environment it takes. There's just so many so much stuff we don't understand about it. I think the implications of it are infinite and people don't really understand that the bacteria that we perceive as, you know, so bad, so, I mean, if we change a couple of compounds around, that same protein that that bacteria makes could save someone's life. Uh, we're here with the American Society for Microbiology, and we have a bunch of different books on microbiology, a bunch of kid-focused, uh, and really just believe in getting kids involved early. Uh, you can really begin at any age. We have one of our books. Uh, it's actually geared towards small grade, uh, grade school age children. Uh, you can start, it's in the invisible ABCs. So at its core, it's a learning the alphabet book, but there's also a lot of information for micro about microbes. So children can kind of grow into it and start learning about microbes at a very early age. It's a great little book. Uh, so ASM has a number of resources that uh, students and teachers can access on the web. Uh, if you go to the ASM website, there's an education portal they can go to. Uh, teachers can click on that and they can, they'll be linked to activities that have been uh, developed by educators. They have complete teacher guides, student guides, safety guidelines, everything that they need to do those activities. The microbe world um, is just fantastic. The videos that are available, um, the, the activities that you can do, um, images that are available. So that's, that's, that's one fabulous resource, especially for the, for the general community. I wish more people knew about microbe world because that's 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 the stepping stone into what microbiology is all about. Um, but we also have other resources out there. We have things like microbe library that has all sorts of resources, image libraries. We have research that's done in, in education and, and microbiology. Uh, we have a journal on microbiology education that's not just microbiology; it's just bio, a journal of microbiology and biology education. And so it brings in all disciplines of biology, publishing their research on how we can use science as an educational tool and how do we understand how learning is going on there. They have several workshops, career fairs. There's also uh, fellowships for graduate students. They have postdoctoral opportunities. So I think they have a host of different things as well as, you know, um, each year they have this big meeting and they offer grants to students who are doing posters at, at the meeting. I was a microbiologist. I would like to study things in uh, the ocean because uh, that's something I'd like to do one day, um, be a marine biologist. I would study um, the microbiology of medicine. I would probably be studying um, amoebas and, like I said earlier, water bears. And Maybe a few different types of bacteria for, cure, for diseases. I think I'd like to 
I don't know. I mean, it's it's a it's a huge problem right now. Cancer is obviously one of the big epidemics of our world, and I think I'd like to try and find the. I, I know everyone says it, but find the cure to cancer through microbiology. I think microbiology is right at the forefront of discovery for future generations. You know, we have synthetic biology that is relevant. Um, we have biotechnology that relies on bacteria, viruses to produce, you know, certain. Um, products of genes or other genomes. The handling of toxic waste that we continually generate, microorganisms can really help us in doing that. Um, medically, with some of the advances that are being made in microorganisms, we can answer some, some very major medical problems uh, by using microorganisms. Uh, we can also use them to understand life in general just a lot better. My students have just come up with an idea they're going to make a microbe that can fight tuberculosis. And so they're taking genes from other organisms, putting into a bacterium, and trying to cure disease. And so microbes have this incredible potential because of their massive diversity. They have all these genes that are out there, and if we could find some that we can capture those genes and put them to beneficial uses, I mean, the, the sky's the limit. And so the, the, the future really is, is the microbial world. My father is a microbiologist, so he would teach us all about good bacteria and bad bacteria. The trouble with growing up with a microbiologist is you learn all the bad things that can happen to you when you eat raw cookie dough. So don't eat raw cookie dough. My mom and I did it behind his back anyways. So.